Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here and welcome to this week's Mixed Media Soul Sparks. Every week I bring you mixed media techniques, inspirational exercises, and sometimes I even throw in some studio tips. So welcome and thanks for joining me. This week I'm going to share with you some unusual ways of working with metal tapes. And if you've never seen metal tapes, let me just explain a bit. I have this one, which is aluminum, and it's got this very sticky backing on it. I find it at the uh, hardware store, and they use this for taping around like air conditioning ducts or something that's outside. But I'm going to show you some ways to work with it. Some other tapes are found with... Um, you might find these in art supply stores for people that do uh, stained glass. This one is brass. Here's some other ones. Uh, this is Venture tape, master foil. Comes in like a copper. Here's the copper one. And sometimes I find these in the gardening department too. They use them in gardening to keep uh, slugs. They won't cross copper. So sometimes you can find copper tape. This is another source of it is from Ranger. Uh, they call it uh, just for jewelry. So lots of different sources. The first thing I want to show you though is working with this aluminum one. And I'm going to show you how to emboss it. And there are a few different ways to get these techniques. So what I have here are some embossing plates. This is a hard one and this is a very lightweight soft one. This one is from Spellbinders and it's two-sided so they use it for embossing paper. So you put your paper in there and you run it through your machine. But I don't have that machine so I'm going to show you a different way to do it. Now it's important when you're working with this tape that you keep the paper backing on it because it's super sticky. So I'm going to just cut a piece and show you a couple of different ways to emboss. Now with this hard one, I can just simply do it with my hand. Let me take my glove off. Sometimes just rubbing it can work. But you might also use like a key card or a brayer. Now this is a hard one. And I can go in here and I can actually create a different pattern by switching the, the rotation of it. Sometimes you don't see it as well until you put some ink on it. I'm going to try it with a soft brayer. And I find I get a better result with the soft brayer. Can you see that bit of texture in there? Now let me show you on the soft one. So I'm using now the soft one, and these have different sides. So we're going to experiment. We're going to check this side, and then we're going to check the reverse side and see which side we get the better result. Now for these soft ones, I find just using my hand works well. Now this looks pretty good. Let's try the other side and see what we get. And you get a different impression. Do you see one side's coming out, the other side's going in. So you get two different effects. And with this one, you get a really good result because you've got two different things pressing on there. So I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to use the hard brayer this time. And I'm really putting a lot of pressure on this. And when I pull it out, you can see that it has this embossing. Now, if you want the embossing to show up, you can put color on these. Oops. You see how sticky it is? <laughs> and you can do this before you emboss them too. So let's just try this again. I'll put it in this way. Hard grayer. And 
and it didn't quite turn out as well because I've already done it. But I want to show you painting these. And let me get my glove back on. I'm going to be using inks because the inks are the thinnest of paints. And you can really get, um, here you go, you can really get a glow with the, uh, with the inks. As you can see here, these are inks. Here's that green one. Mm, my brush is too wet. You see, if you have water on your brush, it wants to beat up on top of the metal. But maybe you can see that now. Okay. And then when this dries, I can continue to layer these colors. I'm going to try it with this brown. That was um, Taylor Rowney ink. And this one is a Holbein ink. how rich that is. It almost makes this look like gold. Let me see if I can put a little over there. Put some over here. So you really don't want it on too thick because it just kind of hides the glow of the metal. And then you let those dry. Just blot some off. All right. This is one that's been dried. It was actually on a piece of wood and I peeled it off. But um, you can build up these beautiful layers and then cut these pieces into collage shapes. I want to show you an interesting thing to do with these. So this is just a piece of um, mixed media paper that I have painted with black gesso. And I'm just going to take this strip, some's embossed, some isn't, and I'm just going to cut it freehand. And then I'll just cut it into different lengths. And what I'm going to do is glue it down on, not glue it, but just peel the, the backing off. And then I'll just press it onto the paper. Once it's on there, I can cut this into whatever shape I want. And I have these pretty incredible pieces of collage that you really can't get any other way. Now on this one I'm going to use these copper tapes and brass tapes and I'll show you how I got this pattern. Same way using this hard surface and just going over it with the key card. And you see all of this nice texture that you get. Let me get some of this out of the way, get my gloves off and I'll show you how easy it is to just make these papers. The hardest part is getting the tape off the bag. It's like going to the grocery store and trying to get the little plastic bags open. There we go. So, it wants to fall away. And once I start to put it on there, it's just really easy. You go along here and just space them out as much as you want. I can even come back in here with some of these 
and let's just do a combination. Okay, again, it's getting the darn tape off. Sticky stuff. There we go. You see how it's to twist? <laughs> and this one is really sticky. Let's put that one there. And then once I get this in here, I can just layer as many pieces as I want and then come back in, as I showed you, and cut these up into whatever shapes I want. This was just the straight silver, no embossing, no texture, no paint. So you have lots of options of how you can get these uh, really nice textured metallic tapes. The other thing you can do is you can just directly put this onto your canvas or to your panel or to your paper. So you don't have to necessarily cut up shapes, but let's say you've got a piece you're working on and you just want to have some of these metal strips, you can do that. Lots of options. So metal tapes, embossing, inks, put it on some black paper, different colored papers, cut those up into shapes, and you've got yourself a lot of great options for creating some very interesting metallic paintings. Thanks for joining me this week. If you like the video, click like, share it with your friends, and check out the website for any other online classes that you might want to take. Thanks again. Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag MixedMediaSoulSparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.